which shows why the performance of Pearson's flowers in an organization. My name is Tan Huying from HP22. From the research observations of a senior manager, maybe it's me, but when I looked at the process that a lot of organizations use to evaluate their managers, I see an awful lot of problems that have a lot of negative consequences. Hey, we all managers want to be evaluated fairly and in a meaningful way, but we are not always so willing to do that for the manager that work for us. So we investigate that why the performance management system failed. Performance manage, management system is the most effective tool of any organization to measure the performance status of employees. Performance appearance process is a part of management system which measure, evaluates the performance, productivity, profitability, and economic performance of any employees. Performance management system is one of the most important aspects of an organization. HR manage, managers are usually the ones who carry out the performance management process in an organization. Jen Trackers was chief learning officials at the FBI. He set out to discover exactly what the best managers do that make the biggest difference to their team's performance. And with 18,000 data points, he found that only five questions on the get up Q12 predictors break through performance. All five related to performance management effectiveness. The belt curve is perhaps the only method that can be used by the organizations to manage Nurses and treatments of managers' ratings. Linear scope means a larger cluster of employees in the high ratings group. A right skills bell curve and skill cost means large numbers of employees in a low rating group. A left skills bell curve, this unbalanced scoring may be demotivated high performance and retains medium employees. The average manager tends to rent on a linear scale. Then there are five why the performance appears and powers in an organization. The first one is the process is no structure. One of the reasons why performance management fails is that the process is not properly structured. It's not a one-time process and needs to be repeated more often. It is not possible if you don't have a well-designed structure for performance management. Because the main reasons behind having a performance management process is an organization is to improve overall performance of the employees in the organization. The second one is goals are not in the picture. In many organizations, employees' goals are not in the pictures when the performance review process is carried out. Sometimes, performance management also falls because wrong goals are chosen to optimize the performance of the employees. In short, goals are important to keep employees motivated and perform better. The third one is lack of communication. Sometimes, managers aren't able to communicate what they expect from their employees. It is important for them to communicate properly with the employees about the benefits of performance management. Employees should be provided with necessary resources to improve themselves constantly and should, not, should know the importance of continuous learning and a performance management of the system. The fourth one is over at emphasizing research performance. This is one of the most common mistakes that managers or HR make. Performance management process are prepped with various places in general. Recency. Less is a one of them. This is an unconscious less since part of the problems can be. So I know performance evaluations is one reason why your performance management system could so